Hello, this is Carl Southwick, co-director of Phoenix Flame Programming. This is the first in a set of tutorials that will teach you how to use the NeoAxis 3D game engine. Alright, the first step is to actually download the non-commercial software development kit. This can be found on the internet on the NeoAxis website. So, open up the internet using whatever web browser you prefer and type in www.neoaxisgroup.com Hit enter. Alright, welcome to the NeoAxis homepage. Uh, here you can read about the NeoAxis game engine itself. You can read news, you can read about products that people have put out. But for our purposes, we want to go to the products page and then click on downloads over here on the left. Here you can read about the non-commercial SDK but we just want to scroll down to the download section. Now if your computer does not have the Microsoft.NET Framework 2.0 then you want to click on the second link to download it. Otherwise you can click on the first link. If you aren't sure whether or not you have that .NET Framework just click on the second link. When you pick a link click save file and it will begin the download. This takes a while and I already have it on my computer so I'm just going to cancel. Alright, you can close out. Now browse to the folders that you installed from the download. It should be NeoAxis non-commercial SDK.59 or the latest version that they've put out when you follow this tutorial. Alright, in here you can see a few folders and files you have the game folder, you have the SDK folder, and a bunch of other files like the license and the readme. Let's go to the SDK folder and see what we have in here. Here you can read the docs, and you can also go to the tools folder. This contains exporters and other tools that you can use to bring in sounds and 3D models from other programs. If we look at the game folder instead, you can see that here we have the bin folder and the SRC or the sor source folder. The source folder contains all of the source code for the NeoAxis game engine. If you change things in here, you can change just about anything in your game if you know a little bit of C Sharp. The bin folder contains a lot of files. The three most useful ones being the game itself. This is a demo that NeoAxis has that shows you basically everything that NeoAxis can handle. You'll also want to run this when you are running your game. This is the map editor. The map editor allows you to edit maps, which are places where your character will And down here we have the resource editor, which lets you edit any resources you have, such as 3D models, particle systems, meshes, etc. Alright, this concludes the first NeoAxis tutorial. I hope you learned a lot, and I hope you stay tuned for the next one.